Well, I'll be damned. Mr. Alvarez. How you doing today, motherfucker? So I understand from what I see here in your file that you would like to be re-immigrated into our good graces. See. Si. Well, it says here in your file that you don't fuck around. But then it goes on to say that you got busted with clenbuterol. Now, isn't that right, motherfucker? Okay. See? Yeah, again, motherfucker. I dare you. I double barrel dare you. Say yeah, again, motherfucker. Say yeah, again. I hate Zeus. Hey, Zeus. Do I look Puerto Rican, motherfucker? Fuck you. Hayes for horses. You can call me Zeus. You know, Zeus, God of Olympus, fuck with me, and I'll put a lightning bolt in your ass. I ain't really changed, it's the same old rebel, still a radical, I'm passionate, it's just another level. AC told me I should fight back, they don't like they that. Don't. Just know if you rock the boat, you better have a life right. BJ told me I should fight back, they don't like that. Just know if you rock the boat, you better have a life right. What up everybody in the YTBC? So Triple G has come out and said that this fight against Canelo is not about money. It's about principle. Now before I get started into my thoughts on Triple G's statement. You know that I had to keep it real and honest with you. I've always, always supported Triple G in the decisions that he's made. I'm going to have to be honest with you on this. <laughs> this statement is bullshit. How in the world is this fight about principle? See, I think I would have more respect for Triple G right now. If he went ahead and did what he needed to do not to be stripped of his other two belts. Because that's a very, very real possibility. And although it seems like it's um, damn near impossible for him to become undisputed at this point. He always said that that was his goal. So how is this fight based off of principle? Especially when you've already had one match with Canelo. Especially after he had tested dirty. Especially after you were robbed of your victory against Canelo the first time around. And especially when you were fighting for 50-50. And you settled for 45 or is it 42? Because last I heard it was 42, but now uh, Triple G is saying that it's 45%. I mean, I'm not really going to make a big deal about 3%, but where's the principle in all of this? I can't blame anybody who is criticizing Triple G for making this fight right now. I can't. There's no way to defend Triple G on this. He done fucked it up. See, if it's not about money, then why are you not just fighting Charlo? To me, that would be more of a principal fight because he's your WBC mandatory. He's a good name. And especially at your age, if you were to beat Charlo, I think that would essentially shut up a lot of your critics. Of course, you're going to have the haters who are going to hate either way. They're going to say, oh, he's, you know, Charlo is really just a 154 pounder. And, you know, for those people, fuck them. But this shit right here, this shit right here, <laughs> this is bullshit. 
Triple G, I like you. I've always supported you. But please, don't insult my intelligence and don't try to feed me some bullshit. If it's about the money, I'm not going to like it. But at least I can respect you for being honest about it. <laughs> that being said, my thoughts on Triple G at this point in his career is really that he's just going to go for the money fights. Whatever fight is going to bring him money, that's what he's going to do. There's a lot of speculation that after uh, this Canelo fight that he'll retire. And that is a very real possibility. He ain't getting no younger. And really, who is going to bring him that kind of money outside of Canelo? I would be shocked if he fought a single fight after Canelo. But if he does, I could almost guarantee you it's going to be big money fights. Because that's the precedent that he has set at this point in time. It can't be about the belts. Because if it was, he would have did what he had to do to maintain that IBF title. And now the WBC title is at risk. And he's not doing a damn thing about it. So this fight that I think really shouldn't have been made in the first place. Or in the second place. I didn't have a problem with it being made the first time. But after everything has been said and done. I don't really agree with this fight being made in the rematch. But being that it has. Triple G. You bet knock that redheaded some bitch out. Because unless you do that or completely dominate him, you're not going to win. You were not going to win. You can't take no rounds off. You're going to have to beat Canelo like you ain't never beat anybody else. You're going to have to reach deep down inside in order to get the W. If you don't do that, <laughs> you're going to take an L. Because at this point in time... A draw will be considered an L in many of the fans eyes but anyways I'm talking about subscribers anybody watching my videos or if you just so happen to stumble upon this video let me know what you think about this fight I understand it's a huge fight as far as names are concerned but as far as principle I'm sorry I can't ride with Triple G on this. Um, to anybody who watches my videos or my subscribers or if you just so happen to stumble on this video, hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. Peace. Undefeated.